Alright guys, welcome to Vocabulary Terms Practice Number 1. So, with this video series, I am going to be able to go over the vocabulary words that we learned this week in session. What we'll be able to do is take a deeper analysis on how these words are defined and what they mean, how they're spelled, as well as how they can be used in sentences. Now that being said, just a forewarning to you, these words do have sometimes more than one meaning. Um, because sometimes they can be used differently in two different contexts, they can have two different kinds of definitions. I will definitely let you know when we arise on some of those words, but just to keep it in the back of your head. Alright, so the first word from our vocabulary terms week one is abolish. Abolish is spelled A-B-O-L-I-S-H. Now abolish is a word that means to formally put an end to something, but more specifically in the context of which it is used is to bring an end to more specifically a system, a practice, or an institution of some sorts. Okay. Um, in the uh, session I think I used the example that the 13th Amendment of our U.S. Constitution um, abolished slavery. It brought an end to slavery when it was um, passed by the Senate in 1864, and then a year later it was passed by the House of Representatives in 1865. So again, um, it was it brought an end to slavery. Um, so that's basically what abolish means, to formally bring an end to, but more specifically a system, practice, or institution. Okay. All right, so that's our first word. Let's look at the next one. Okay, so the first next word is compassion. So compassion is spelled C O M P A S S I O N. Now, compassion is a word that is used to dis usually describe someone's character or personality. Um, it is a noun. It's something that you show. Um, it is basically sympathetic pity or um, showing to somebody's uh, showing concern for somebody's um, sufferings or misfortunes. Um, it usually goes with um, the term empathy. Empathy is a term that just simply means that you understand the feelings of others. Um, so again, compassion is sympathetic pity or concern to somebody else's sufferings and misfortunes. Um, the example that I used, I believe, in session was he showed a lot of compassion when he visited his friend in the hospital. Okay, so Thank you. 
So compassion is sympathetic pity or concern for the sufferings or misfortunes of others. Okay? So that's our second word. Let's look at the next word. Our next word is the word escalate, which is spelled S E E S, sorry, E S C A L A T E. Okay? Escalate is a word. Now, the first thing that you probably think of when you think of the word escalate is escalator, which is those things in shopping malls that kind of take you up to the next um, story of the building. Escalate is a term that defines something to increase rapidly um, or to um, become more intense. Um, the example that I used in um, the session was the disturbance in the street quickly escalated to a full-scale riot. All right, so it increases in intensity rapidly. So. Increase rapidly or become more intense or serious. Okay, so that's our third word. Our next word, now, as I mentioned in the um, beginning of this video, some of the words that we will be going over have double meanings. This is one of those words. So for our next word, we have the word frigid, and that is spelled F-R-I-G-I-D. Now, frigid's first main uh, dictionary definition is something that is very cold in temperature. Okay, so if you actually um, recall the word refrigerator, it is relative to something very cold that keeps food and other things cold. So that's the first um, um, definition, is very cold in temperature. Um, I believe the uh, sentence I used in um, session was that penguins' feathers allow them to adapt to the frigid temperatures of Antarctica. Um, fun fact for you, um, penguins, some species of penguins have up to 70 inches, uh, um, 70 feathers per square inch on their body which is relatively dense, and that allows them to stay warm much easier when they're trying to survive through the winter in those really harsh, cold, frigid temperatures. Okay? Um, the second meaning that frigid means is a person, or it is a verb, it's, it's showing unfriendliness or no, um, no enthusiasm. Now the example I used um, uh, in session was, have you guys ever heard of the phrase, someone giving you the cold shoulder? It actually is based off of the origin of the word frigid. Um, when someone gives you the cold shoulder, they don't really talk to you and they don't really have much to say to you. Um, and it's not, they're not really showing a lot of response in, to um, a conversation or anything like that. 
So um, I think the sentence I used was, she um, was very frigid when we asked her about how her weekend was. And um, she didn't show any response. And she was kind of, you know, very unenthusiastic. Okay. So, um, that's, that's our fourth word. So, frigid. Again, this is one of our double meaning words. Primary definition is very cold in temperature. Or showing unfriendliness or no enthusiasm. Okay. okay. So our last word for our vocabulary terms this week is another one of those words with a double meaning. All right. So this word is illuminate, which is spelled I L L U M I N A T E. Now, illuminate, its primary definition is to light up. So, um, if you think of how, like, a flashlight or just a light switch or a candle, it illuminates a room. It lights it up when it's dark. So, um, actually, the example that I used in session was a stroke of lightning, a strike, a stroke of lightning illuminated the room, okay? Um, I should say a flash of lightning illuminated the room. Um, um, the second term, the second meaning for the, um, the word illuminate is to um, decorate with gold and silver designs. So um, when you illuminate a room from a decorative perspective, it could be like using gold and silver curtains or things like that. Um, I think the example I used was they completed wrapping the gifts by illuminating them with gold and silver bows. Okay. Um, So those are our five vocabulary words from this week. Again, let's go ahead and do a quick review. We had the words abolish, compassion, escalate, Frigid and illuminate. I think I might have accidentally uh, switched the order on these two right here, but that's okay. Again, if you guys have any questions, please don't ever hesitate to message me or um, let me know. Um, again, we're going to be going over. Um, um, our next week's vocabulary terms as well. So if you guys have any questions about these, don't hesitate to contact or message me. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.